second video where I will be explaining how to be able to actually take the trades. In my first video, I explained in details how you can be able to download your MetaTrader 4 and actually uh, start trading. Uh, in the forex market, especially for those who are beginners. Now, in this second uh, video, I will quickly show you once you've downloaded your MetaTrader, how do you take the trades? How can you go in and be able to trade and actually take the trades um, and be able to trade in the various currencies? So let me quickly share my screen. Um, this is my mobile uh, screen. So this is my MetaTrader 4. I've already downloaded uh, the demo account that I just showed you. We downloaded it together in my first video. You can see um, if you click right the first, you know, right down below, you will see various kind of drawings or diagrams of sorts. You will see the one with two arrows. When you click on that, that basically shows you the quotes. These are the currencies that you're trading. When you click on the second one, you know, and you can see it, it becomes a bit more highlighted. This shows you the charts of the currency and how the market is moving. When you click on the third, uh, you know, diagram, it actually shows you the balance. And you remember this, the balance of $3,000, we got it when we were setting up the demo account. You remember we changed the amount from $100,000 to $3,000. This is where you come and confirm uh, what your balance is. The fourth diagram, basically once you take your trades and they close in profit, this is where they will be reflected. So the trades will close and this is where you will see your profits or your losses, depending on how the trades basically closed. And then, um, the next one is just the news on what is happening on uh, crypto um, and those you will get, especially once you go on a live account, you'll be able to get all those uh, basically news uh, that affect how the various currencies move in the market. Now, we want to go now into the first, uh, we click on the first uh, drawing or the first diagram, sorry. The first diagram basically shows us the various currencies that we want to take. Now, I will show you on this video how to take trades in two ways. We have what we call market execution and we have what we call pending orders. So you can either take a trade as an instant execution or a market execution, meaning you're going into the market immediately and you can take it as a pending order. And a pending order means you're waiting for the market to get at that particular uh, price point for the trade to open up and actually start trading. So those are the two ways you can be able to actually put in your trade. So in this video, I will show you how to take the two trades, uh, market execution or instant execution execution and also number two pending orders now let me quickly go and take a particular trade let me go in one of our groups i'm part of a company that basically sends us trade a lot so it makes it easy for us to be able to actually trade and make some money um even as we are learning so this particular company basically sends us trade alerts and you can see all the trade alerts that they sent today so these are the various trade alerts that uh, we took today so let me show you by example one of the trade alerts that uh, they send. This trade alert basically is a sell. So it means we are selling this currency pair and the currency pair we are selling is Great Britain pound uh, versus Japanese yen. Now in currencies, ladies and gentlemen, the first two digits represent the country. The last letter is basically the currency. So like in this case of GBP, GBP is Great Britain and P is pound. In this other case, JPY, is Japanese and Y is Yen. So the first uh, two letters normally are the country and the third letter is normally the currency pair. So right now, what this trade alert basically means, whenever you receive a trade alert, this is what it basically means. It means we are putting in um, a trade of Great Britain pound, Japanese yen, and this is the entry price. So this entry price, ladies and gentlemen, we will use it when you are putting a pending order. But if you're not putting in a pending order, you're doing a market execution, you don't need to, you know, um, you know, take advantage, I mean, consider this uh, figure of 143.63. All you need to do is what I will show you how to put the instant execution. It means you will need to input your stop loss and your TP. Stop loss means uh, SL is stop loss and TP is means take profit. So 
this trade, when the trade goes against you and the market, if it was a sell, it goes and becomes a buy, you know, because there are so many factors that affect a trade. It could go backwards and become a sell, a buy, and yet you had put in a sell. It means that trade will go against you and it will close when it hits the stop loss. Uh, if the market goes as predicted and it actually is a sell, meaning we're selling this currency, then it will hit your first take profit. So various uh, trade alerts will have take profit one, take profit two, and take profit three. For me, and especially for beginners, this is what I normally advise them. For beginners, always, whenever a trade alert is sent, just take the TP1. Just take the take profit one, uh, because the market could go against you after the take, the take profit one. So you want to secure your profit at take profit one, so you don't necessarily, especially for a beginner, you don't necessarily need to take the take profit two, take profit three, until you become more conversant with the forex trading where you can be able to actually go and analyze the charts to see if this particular trade will actually go all the way to take profit two and take profit three but until you learn that if you're a beginner you're just coming in you're setting up your demo account you're copy pasting the trade alerts to start making some money always ensure you only take your take profit one don't take the risk of taking take profit two and take profit three i always recommend and this is just my personal recommendation just take the take profit one so you enter in the market and take profit one now we are now taking this gbp jpy so whenever a trade alert is actually sent ladies and gentlemen ensure you have a paper and pen and just write down the trade alert that you're taking so let's quickly write down that that trade we are actually trading gbp uh, JPY, so you take the notes, uh, your entry price is 143.63, your stop loss is 144.35, and your take profit one is 143.30, your take profit two, and take profit three. So for practice purposes, uh, just to practice, you can write down the take profit two and take profit three, but actually when you're really, really trading on a live account, especially for beginners, just stick with take profit one and only. Don't take take profit uh, two and three unless you know how to analyze the charts as well to see once you uh, your take profit one has hit uh, that actually the trade will still continue going um, the way you expect it and it will hit your take profit two and take profit three. So let's quickly go back to our meta trader and then I will show you how to actually take these trades. So we go into our meta trader. So you go back into your meta trader where now you start looking for the currency we want to trade. Now, if you refine your note, we are trading Great Britain pound, Japanese yen. So you just scroll down on these quotes, just scroll down and see if you can see a Great Britain Japanese yen, they call it GBP, JPY. And since we can't see it, remember what I said on the first video, whenever you want to add any currency, just right at the top, you click on that plus button. So click on that plus button and then where it's indicated find symbol that's where you type the currency you want to trade so in this case we are trading gbp jpy jpy so you, that's the currency you can see it right on the screen great britain pound versus japanese yen so you click on that so all you need to do is click on it. And when you click on it, it will be removed from where you are adding. When you go back, you click on this arrow right at the top, it will take you back to the quotes, right? When you take, it takes you back to the quotes. When you scroll, when you scroll right down below, you will see Great Britain Pound. I hope you can all see that. You will see Great Britain Pound. So once you see that you've added that currency, now this is the currency we want to trade. The next step, when you want to take now the trade, this is the next step. Click on it or tap on GBP JPY. Tap on it, right? When you tap on it, you will see new order. You will see new order. You will see open chart. You will see symbol properties. You will see simple view mode. So just leave it as it is. Click on new order because you're placing in a new order to go into the market. So click on new order right so once you click on new order this is what you will see on your screen right at the top you will see market execution 
in some of the phones that you're using, it could show as instant execution. They, they, they mean the same. They are one and the same. So whether you see instant execution or market execution, it's the same thing. Now, market or instant execution means you're actually going into the market and really uh, taking that trade instantly. So when you put the trade, it means you've actually gone into the market and you're now instantly trading this particular currency. Now, Right below the market execution, you will see different numbers. You'll see negative zero one, negative zero zero one. You will see uh, the one in black, which is zero point two zero. You will see plus zero point zero one, plus zero point zero uh, one. Now, what those numbers signify? They signify the lot size. Now, once you get to learn more about forex trading, and this is what we teach you on how to be able to know the lot size and what lot size to put in and what exactly lot size is but in this particular video i will not cover that i will just say in brief uh basically the lot size determine how much money is going how much money how much of your money is going into that particular trade right now in this case remember our demo account we are trading with three thousand dollars right you remember we saw that amount the three thousand dollars now this is how you calculate your lot size your lot size Size will be 3,000 divided by 10,000. So if you do 3,000 divided by 10,000, that's 0 0.30. So in this case, your lot size would be 0 0.30. If you're trading with an account of $100,000, it will be $100,000 divided by 10,000. Um, that comes to about 1.00. If you're trading with an account of $100, 100 dollars divided by 10,000, that will be a lot size of 0 0.01. So anytime you want to calculate the lot size, you take your balance, divide by 10,000 to know exactly what your lot size is. Now, in our case, we are trading with an account of $3,000. So our lot size will be 3,000 divided by 10,000. So right on top there where the CASA is, I need to change that lot size from 0 0.20 to 0 0.30. So I can go all the way, type 0 0.30. So that is my lot size. Always in Forex trading, you have to ensure you put the right lot size because if you put the wrong lot size and the market goes against you, you could easily wipe out your entire capital. So ensure you always put the right lot size. If you're trading with an account of $50, $100, the lot size should always remain at 0 0.01, right? So you keep increasing size as your balance in your account also increases. But for beginners, we always recommend start with 0 0.01. Now, because this is a demo account, we can actually start with 0 0.30 because this is not our money. It's a broker's money that we are using to trade uh, in this Forex market to basically practice trading. So we will put 0 0.30 now, that is already taken care of. Now, right below where you can see uh, it's underlined in red, right? You can, in green, sorry. So on the, just below on your right hand side, it's underlined in green. That's where we put in our take profit. That's where you input that figure that we wrote down, which was our take profit. And if you go back on your notes, guys, you will see what your take profit was. Our take profit one was 143. So you type that out, 143.30, right? And then on the opposite side, which is the left side, which has a line underlined uh, in red, in some of the demo accounts or some of the accounts, depending on which broker you're using, they will show you TP or SL. So, but in this particular case, uh, since we can't see TP and SL, this is where you now do the take profit and the stop loss. So the take profit will be on your right hand side. The stop loss will be on your left hand side where it's underlined in red. Now our stop loss was that figure 144.35 right now what does this stop loss mean it means now this particular and see the numbers that are changing you can see here 143 21 uh 143 24 so the current rate of this currency it's now trading between 143.217 
uh, and uh, 143.247. So that's the current, um, you know, the current price of this currency pair. So it means if the market goes against you and this currency pair goes to the price point of 144.35, it means now your trade will close at a loss because this was a sell trade. We needed to put a price that is lower than the price we are getting in. You can see our price is 143.25. That's where it's transacting at. And right below our take profit is 143.30. So actually this trade might not go through because already it has surpassed this amount of 143.30. Uh, it's now at 143.25. And I will show you. So we will take it as a sell right below uh, because you need to write down what is the trade. Are we buying or are we selling? Now, our trade alert said we are selling. So right below, you will see sell and buy. So you quickly click on sell. Now, you see, it says invalid stop loss. Invalid stop loss because that entry point has already passed. So if it shows you invalid, uh, you know, uh, stop loss or take profit, it could mean, mean, mean different things. It could be either your internet is not very strong or the entry price has already passed. So what we will do because the entry price has passed, we will go back to our quotes. We click on Great Britain uh, JPY. We Click again on new order. Now, this time round, you know, you don't need to change the lot size. Probably the lot size is already there. So, but you can always check to ensure you have the right lot size. Now, because it has already uh, surpassed the one, our first take profit, we will go and take the next take profit. Our next take profit is 142 0.90. Our stop loss still remains 144.35 right now you can see it's currently at 143.22 right on top 143.21 uh right now it's 120 143.20 so it means this uh currency is still going low and low and low so we sell currencies when they depreciate in value and we buy currencies when they appreciate in value so it means these currencies are depreciating in value so that's why we are selling it and because right now it's at 143.19, you can see it, it has changed. It moved from 21 to 20. Now it's at 19. Now it's at 18. So that's what it's playing. Now we have to put a lower entry amount, which is now 142.90. 142.90 0. 0 is lower than 143.19. Now, because we are selling, you just go right below and click sell. And right there, your order is open. What that means is that now you are in the market. Now you can see my balance is at 3,000. My equity has changed to 2,993 because already the trade is at negative $5, $4. So it keeps fluctuating. You can see now it's at negative 0 to 8. Now when it's in red, it means the trade is at a loss. When it turns blue, the trade has started making profit. So right now it's at a loss of $5, $6, $7. You don't need to do anything. Just leave your trade to continue running. Let the market continue operating. You can come back later to see whether it closed at stop loss, uh, meaning you made a loss, or whether it actually closed at a profit, meaning you actually made a profit. So you just leave the trade to be trading, right? Now, this particular trade, ladies and gentlemen, when you first take the order, it will always start on a negative. And basically the negative means the broker has removed their commission. This is how the Forex brokers make their money. They make their money by each trade, each trade that you take, they actually get a commission out of it and they take their commission upfront. So when you take your trade, you will always see it going negative because it has already commission so don't be worried when you see red just leave it to continue trading just leave the trade it will either close on a stop loss uh, meaning you made a loss or the trade will automatically close on a take profit when it hits that figure if you click on the trade you can see the figures we put in you can already see the stop loss which was 144.35 which we typed in you can see 
the take profit. So if you click on the currency itself, this is what you see. You see the TP is 142,900. Uh, so you will just leave the trade to continue trading when it actually hits either the stop loss, this figure, or the TP, uh, the take profit the trade will automatically close. And when it closes, this is where it will come right down below where we were seeing the diagrams. You will see this thing that is like a box. You see, I've clicked on it. It's showing a box. So when the trade closes, this is where it will reflect, right? So it will move from here and it will come right here. And this is where you will see your profit or your losses. You will see profit or loss. So let me show you an example of the trades I was taking. So you can see in this account, these are the trades that are currently going on. They are currently at a negative. Let me just go on another account that has actually closed the trades. So you can see this was the first account I showed you. This is my other account that I'm trading. You can see right below, I am on currencies that are trading, right? So this, you can see it's also a demo account. So it's trading. These are the currencies that I've taken uh, that are currently uh, trading. And if I click on the other, like a box kind of drawing. It shows you the ones that have actually closed at a profit and the ones that have closed at a loss. You can see uh, this particular trade, the US 30. This is an index. It's not a currency. And this is what we will teach you. We will teach you how to take trades on gold, on indices, on currencies. But um, for the sake of this call, which was basically to show you how to take the trades, you can see this particular end index of USA 30, it has actually hit a stop loss. And you can see it has made a loss of $45.70. So you can see right here in the corner, when a trade actually hits TP, it will show you in green. When it hits stop loss, it will show you in red. Now, <coughs> sorry, the ones that have hit TP, you can see they're in green. So they've made a, a profit of 45, like this GBP, JPY. This one, I took the first TP, which had already passed, and you can see it already made a profit of $45.33. You can see the New Zealand dollar uh, uh, United States dollar, NZD, USD, has, has taken a profit of $39. Um, the USD... Um, uh, the USD ZA, that's the uh, South African rand, has made a profit of $16. There, This is gold. Gold made a profit of $90. Australian dollar JPY has made a profit of $39.70. So basically, in total, uh, the total profit made so far these are trades I took today. You can see the dates. These Today is the second. So these are the trades I took today. All these uh, trades have so far made $181.84 in profit. So basically, guys, this shows you that Forex trading, you can be able to make money trading in the Forex market. Now, I've quickly showed you how to take your trades on an instant market, right? Let me quickly... Um, in my next video, ladies and gentlemen, I will show you how to track your trade on a pending order where you're not going into the market instantly. You're now putting in a pending order so that when the trade gets to that amount, you can actually go in and put a, a pending order. When it gets to that particular price point, you can now close the trade and uh, it will actually pick the trade and start going into the market. So in my third video, I will be able to show you how to take your trade on a pending order. So this particular second video is basically to show you how to take a trade on market execution or instant execution, meaning you're going into the market instantly. So please join uh, my third video where I will be showing you how to do a pending order, how to take your trades on a pending order. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. See you on my third video. Bye-bye, everybody.